Hide and Seek is a slow burn horror short film about a man and his pet pigeon who move into a new home only to discover that something dark lurks within. The original idea was to have my character explore the house on his own. However, I decided to try out something different. My pet pigeon, whose name really is Spreken, would co-star alongside my character. This was a challenge in and of itself. Even though Spreken is a tame indoor pigeon, getting him to perform on cue was a totally different beast. With animals, exercising patience is extremely important. And although he was required for a handful of shots, he still had to be persuaded with his favorite activity as bait. Spreken's having a bath before his big on-screen debut. Gotta look his best for the camera. Apart from myself and Spreken, everything else in the film is animated. I found a free bathroom model on Sketchfab that fit the look and feel of what I was after. I modified some aspects of the room but I absolutely fell in love with the design. So much so that I then committed to building the majority of the house. Furniture, boxes and plants came from the amazing Quixel Megascans library to help me flesh out the house. It's incredible the power of repeating assets at convincing the viewer that they are witnessing intricate details. This was much the same with the house's frontage, repeating pieces to get the Victorian look that I wanted. Very time consuming, but quite fulfilling and rewarding. My performances were then captured against a green screen and once keyed and cleaned up, the transparent footage was uploaded into Blender 3D and strategically placed to give the illusion of the character residing within the 3D house. I enjoy this workflow as it allows me to envision the shot, shoot the performance and then tweak the camera to match the perspective and focal length of the recorded footage. Audio came next. Audio plays a huge part in this film because a lot of the tension and the foreboding atmosphere is derived from the sound effects. I didn't want to rely on music because the plan was to portray the horrors of sound. Everything from dialogue to creaking floors to Spreken walking on wooden floorboards was captured using the Rode VideoMic Go. Thankfully, this was the only microphone of mine that Spreken was not afraid of. 